All right, everyone, let's take a look at building a CG500 box with a dig uno inside of it. You'll see today we have all our parts here, CG500, a power supply, all our wiring pre um, put together, um, the dig uh, uno with a SD card hat and external antenna, and then a new one from Turtle Plates. And as you can see on the engraving, it has all the layout of exactly what goes where, which is going to be very helpful, so you're not guessing which... Uh, screws go in which holes. And then it also comes with the hardware, um, all labeled of what goes with which. So let's start with putting on the UNO standoffs. I'm guessing of where the screws have to go because it's all nice and laid out for you. Next, let's go ahead and get the power supply mounted. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the CG500 and run my wires through the holes already so we can get it to the board. And we'll start with the wiring going into the output of the dig now. All right, so then we have all our output wires coming from the dig uno. In case anyone's wondering, you can fit 16 gauge ferrules in there. You just need to give them a little squeeze on the end. Go ahead and attach our power wires. So next, go ahead and connect the power to our power supply. They're going to back on. Attach it on its stand ups there. Go ahead and plug that into power. Once 
last part, we can go ahead and mount the plate into the box. The last thing we have here is to put the SD card hat back on. We have to figure out how we're going to mount this antenna over here. Zip tie through. There we go. So let's do one last test. Go ahead and plug it in and see that everything powers on. Good. You got a light on the power supply, light on the Daguna board, and light on the ESP.